Oh my god. They're even cuter from up close. I've never been this close to them before. All that time, watching them from the shadows, only stirred up my feelings for them. And I can't believe that I finally get to be in the same room as them. That pretty face. That peaceful smile. All the past talks and observations have been leading up to this very moment. It was worth it to follow them around everywhere they went. Because now I have them all to myself. The blood flowing through their body sends shivers down my spine. I can even feel their heart beating steadily in their chest. And soon, that heart will only beat for me. Now, what if I just... Their body feels so warm underneath mine. It's just perfect. And I can't wait to make it all mine. Just for me. I might be getting a little too ahead of myself. So I'll just straddle them for now. Until they feel my presence. And decide to open their eyes. Only to meet mine for the first time. No, no, no. Don't scream, please. Just stay quiet. I won't hurt you. I promise. Just stay silent. I know you have a lot of questions. Such as, who are you? What are you doing in my room? But that's not important. All you need to know is that I know a lot about you. Yes, I've been watching you for a very long time now. Always keeping my eyes on you from the shadows. And I must say, I've taken quite the liking to you. Everything about you managed to grab my attention. And I couldn't be more happy to have met you. Even if our first encounter is from your bedroom. Whilst I'm on top of you. Oh yes. I watched your every move and action. Dedicated my time to observing you. Seeing what you do and don't. But. Your body, appearance and qualities. Weren't the only things that attracted me towards you. There was one more thing about you that made me become attached to you. <sighs> Your scent. Your scent is what made me become obsessed with you. Your blood smells absolutely delicious. Flowing underneath your soft skin. I can't even begin to imagine how good it must taste. And your heart, pumping it all throughout your body, spreading it absolutely everywhere. That drove me crazy. What's with that look in your face? You seem totally oblivious as to what's happening right now. Couldn't you tell from the last few minutes? It should be pretty obvious by now. But I am a vampire. Look. <laughs> Your face went totally pale. You seem to be quite shocked from my reveal. But you don't have to worry. I won't bite you. Just yet. 
I just want to show you how dedicated I am to following you and to loving you. And now that I finally have your body right underneath mine, the time couldn't be any better. I bet you taste divine. Not like all the other people that came before you. Yes. I've been waiting for a very long time for this exact moment. Where it's just you and me. No one else. I get to finally reveal myself and my traits to you. No more hiding in the shadows, slowly lurking around you. This time, I get you all to myself. This time, and forever. Oh, why, yes, forever. I grew very fond of you. It took me years to find someone just like you. And after all the waiting, searching, stalking, and taking out the trash, I found you. The perfect person to be with me for the rest of our lives. Um, well, all the previous people that I so eagerly watched either tried to run away from me or tried to fight back my undying love for them. None of them ended up alive. I got rid of each and every one of them, hoping that I wouldn't have to do the same thing for the next one. I hope that you won't try what they did. I would hate to lose a cutie like you. And I will have to ask you to never talk to the people you love the most ever again. Your friends, lovers, and family all have to leave your side if you don't want the same to happen to them as well. Yes, lovers too. Especially your lovers. Every so often I've seen you come back to your house with a partner by your side, making out with them and letting them into your arms. I got so jealous that I wanted to break into your house right then and there and defeat your partner right in front of you to show you that I was the only one meant for you. To let you know just who you belonged to. Of course, you didn't even know of my existence back then. But that's besides the point. All you need to know is that I'm the one meant for you. And you're the one meant for me. As for all your partners, who either try to win your heart over so you can be with them, or the ones that just took advantage of you, wanting nothing else besides your love, not caring about all your other beautiful aspects. They all perished, one by one. I got rid of them all, to show you that they were not the right people for you. But now you have me. The only person that you'll ever need. Hey, don't try to struggle your way out of this. You'll hurt yourself if you do that. Do you feel that? The weight of my arms, pinning your shoulders to the bed? That's just another trait of mine. So that I know that you won't be going anywhere anytime soon. But if you do somehow manage to escape from me, my heart would bleed at the idea of hurting you. So I'll just drag you back to me, in my arms, where you rightfully belong. I won't allow you to see other people, apart from me. 
And if you do, I'll make sure to hurt them really, really bad. So, why don't you want to be a good human and stop resisting? It would be better for the both of us if you didn't try to escape every few seconds. You know you can't leave this bed. Not with me around. Give in to my love and affection that I offer to you. Feel how good my love is for you. And don't worry. I'll take really good care of you. That you won't even have to leave my house. All you have to do is take put and show me how much you love me as well. There you go. You started to listen up a bit. Doesn't the idea of spending the rest of your life with me put you at ease? It will all be alright, darling. Although, as much as I hate it, we won't be staying at your house, but at mine, so I can keep my eyes fixed on yours, in that you won't try anything to get away from me. I will even chain you up, so you can't move from the spot until I can fully trust you to wander around in my house. Who knows? Maybe you'll find plenty of surprises waiting for you around there. Surprises that I only store for the ones that I truly love. And to the ones who make it as far as you did with me. But you have to know that I'm doing all of this because I love you. I love you so very much that I decided to sneak into your bedroom and sit on top of you. After all the time that I spent watching you, waiting patiently to be presented with this wonderful opportunity, where I could finally see you from this close-up. Although the situation isn't the most optimal for our first contact, I couldn't be happier. So, I want to make you mine, forever and ever. I want to spend the rest of my life with you, all snuggled up in my embrace, which you'll never even want to leave. And you would accept me with open arms, right, darling? Doesn't it sound appealing to you as well? I know you may not want to right now, but you'll see later. You'll see that you want to spend as much time with me as I do with you. After all, it's not like you have a choice. You'll be with me for the rest of the time that you live on this earth. Whether you like it or not. Oh, come on. What's with that look in your face? Don't tell me that it's not what you always wanted. Besides, all your previous lovers didn't actually love you. I stalked them as well, watching their moves, trying to figure out the perfect moment to get rid of them. But I also heard them talking behind your back, saying that they wanted to be together with you, simply to take advantage and to make a fool out of you. So, it's best for us to be together and push aside all the other people who took their chances with you. Think of them as a poison and me as the cure. The cure for your loneliness and sadness. There is no need to worry. It's fine. Now you have me. Someone who loves you back and would never leave your side, even in the toughest moments. All the other people who you loved 
are gone now. Because I wanted to make them know who truly loves you. Not like them. So, I want to make you mine. For the rest of eternity. I want to show you the depths of my love towards you. To show you how much I've waited to finally reveal myself. And to be with you. To make you feel the same way that I feel. And what better way to make you mine than by drinking some of your blood. To sink my fangs into your soft neck. And taste your delicious blood. Leaving behind the marks where my fangs entered. Marking you as mine forever. That way, you'll know that you're mine. Mine, 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 and only mine. Yes, that's the perfect idea. I'll bite down on you, and then you'll be mine for eternity. Doesn't that sound good, darling? I promise it won't hurt. In fact, It'll be the opposite. I think that you'll like the feeling that I'm about to give you. The people who I bit before all described it as being quite pleasurable. My fangs sinking into your pretty little throat. Are you ready, love? I'm going to bite down. What's wrong? You're shaking quite a bit. It looks like you don't want to be bitten. But you don't have any other option, do you? If you stay still, it won't hurt as much. Here, you can hold my hand if it'll make it easier for you. You have such soft skin. Your hand feels so gentle in mine. And the texture is amazing. I can't even imagine how good your blood tastes. Absolutely everything about you is like a drug to me. And I simply can't let you out of my sight. I can't go on without you. And now... It almost feels like I can't live without your blood. Alright. Here it goes. divine, darling. It's sweet, warm, and I just can't get enough of it. How did it feel? Did it hurt at all? It hurt you more than it should have. Oh, I'm so very sorry for that. I didn't mean to make it hurt. I apologize. Forgive me. <laughs> it looks like you have a bit of blood pouring down your neck. Here, let me look it off. <sighs> it tastes amazing. It's even better when I drink it straight from your body. 
your neck. It looks like the marks have already started to sink into your skin. Now, you're officially mine. Mine, and no one else's. I promise that I'll never leave your side, for as long as you live. I'll take care of you. I'll feed you. Clothe you. And love you. And all you have to do is love me back. And sometimes let me drink from your blood. Alright? Now, let me hear it. Say it. Say that you love me. Oh my god, thank you so much. Those words mean so much to me, sweetie. You know exactly how to excite me, don't you? You're all I ever wanted. And soon, I'll be all that you want as well. I feel so great, just knowing that you love me too. That means you've given your soul to me. And you surrendered all your emotions and love. To me. And me only. And your body as well. You gave that to me too. By letting me mark you. I also feel that my cold body is being warmed inside and out. By yours. Now that we're together. All the time I've spent in the dark. Lurking in the shadows. Always keeping my eyes on you. Only made my cold soul and body even colder. But now. That you're finally mine. That you said you love me as well. Made my body feel warm. And my heart even warmer. Oh, darling. You're so perfect for me. You know that, right? You're the most beautiful person ever. And I wouldn't have anyone else besides you. I don't care if there is a million miles between us. I would still find you. And love you just as much. I would do anything for you, love. If there is a person that you don't like that much, you can just tell me, and I'll get rid of them for you. Alright? So don't hesitate to ask me for anything. Now, why don't you be a cute little human? And let me cuddle with you for the rest of the night. Alright? Oh my. You feel so warm, darling. This moment is so special for me. Just thinking about sharing your body warmth is enough to make me happy. And I can't imagine how happy you'll make me from now on. You and me. For the rest of our lives. It feels as though I can't leave your embrace. No matter how hard I try. Aw, oh, how sweet of you to also snuggle up to me. Did you take the same amount of liking towards me as I did to you? You're just so precious to me. It's almost like I could bite down on you again. And drink some of your delicious blood. Of course, I would hate to ruin such a beautiful body. But if it's in the name of our relationship and to what depths it will reach. Then I would gladly bite you again. When the morning comes, 
We'll go to my house and start our beautiful lives together. All right? If you are a good human, maybe I won't chain you down in my basement. And don't even try to escape. You don't want to make me sad, do you? Anyways, let's rest now. And when we wake up, nothing will tear us apart. I love you.